Hey, so I saw this tweet by Tobias. He tweets about databases. And he's talking about how you can create a unique index with a where condition in Postgres. And he gives like an example where this could be useful in a soft delete like functionality in your application. So this index will only like be built on the rows that are not soft deleted. And soft deletion means like we have this column. If there is a value inside that column, for a specific row, that means this row is deleted or soft deleted. And this usually we put the date time when this row have been deleted. And this works very nice if you have a uh, soft delete functionality. At the same time, you need like if I delete uh, if I soft deleted, let's say articles and the slugs are unique. If I soft deleted an article with the slug, let's say uh, hi uh, hi. JS SQL developers. Let's say I have an article with this slug and it's not deleted. So I'm going to say it's one, which means it's active, let's say. So this one is not deleted. I will go at some point, delete that one, and I could create another one with the same slug because this unique index will only work on the not deleted rows. This is very good. But when I started working, I remember I had very similar case where uh, we had this functionality that, okay, you soft deleted a, an article, you need to undo that, or you, the user can undo that. So let's go back to this example. example. Uh, I, this one is soft deleted. This one is like active. The user in our case could just go back to the first article and just undo the delete. And because of the index is built in this way, this will go and just like it, it will just break it will test you are violating the unique constraints we can't have two slugs with the same value so what i used to do uh which like yeah this is what i used to do i used to use like type rm a lot and i used to use this before update hook or like you can call it triggers and i will just here come and write a bunch of queries hey go to that database go to that table and find me all uh, the slugs or the articles with the same slug if i have anyone if i have like any result i will just go and before undo the delete i will just go add like a random string here then i will make it uh then i will like i will retrieve it i will remove that and soft delete uh, deletion you know uh, i hope that's clear but that's basically it i will just go uh, before update check the database do we have a slug do you have an article with the same slug if we have the current one you are trying to retrieve or just add at the end of the slug dash random string and that solves it um, but there is an issue with that type rm or rms in general like when you define triggers on them uh, they only work some of them call them listeners some of them some of them call calls them triggers but they only work on the ORM level, on that RESTful API level, and only through the queries have been built on top of that ORM, uh, which like depends on your case, but maybe you will never, maybe will not handle every like in update that happens. Someone could write an updated query somewhere and run it on your database. Uh, maybe like migration script or back in like so many cases, someone could connect and run a script these these triggers will not be run because they are on the application layer so i'm going to show you a solution it's the same logic but using database triggers and the stored procedure that should work uh, no matter who tries or from where tries to update your data i hope that's clear so this is my setup i have this articles table id title slug deleted at which could be null which means it's active or not deleted and created at with default now i have my index it's called unique index on articles on specifically the column slug where deleted at is null so if i have a bunch of articles with the same slug and they are deleted that's fine but i can't have two articles that are not deleted with the same article with the same slug okay so now what I need to do, the same logic I described using these like subscribers in ORM, on type ORM, 
I will implement something very similar using a stored procedure or like a function in Postgres. Create or replace a function. By the way, the, the code will be will exist in the on a GitHub guest, so there's a link in the description. I'll call it maintain slug uh, uniqueness. So re, uh, returns returns trigger why okay as body. Let's actually close that. And at the end, you need to tell it like the language. So language PL P G S Q L. I have no idea how to pronounce this one. Uh, G S Q L. I think programming language, possibly. Anyway, so after the body, you need I will declare a variable. So declare uh, not deleted count this one will be an integer and I will just begin and then you need to add uh, end the syntax is, this is a little bit weird but yeah okay so I'll, I will store the result I will write a query that fetches all uh, the deleted uh, sorry, all the exist or the all the not deleted rows. So I will do this. So select count uh, articles dot slug uh, from articles where articles dot slug. We have here access to this like keyword. It's a new. It's that like we have a new and old because like. Old it's the old row and the new it's the new row uh, or holds the new information and old uh, holds the old information about the row and this will be available because this trigger or this function will be actually used in a before update trigger in Postgres so we have these like unique or we have these special keywords so this is the new slug so I'm searching the database where if I find a slug that already exists in the database and deleted at is null, which means it's not deleted. And this is not enough because I could find like the same article again and I didn't need the same slug again. And I don't need to attach like two random strings with dashes uh, after that. So you need to also put uh, and like articles dot id does not equal new dot id so don't like include the same row in this result uh, yeah it, you could do this but i don't think it makes sense and let's just store the result of this query like you can do put it in like buckets parentheses sorry and just do this this will store this uh, result in that variable and I can just put a normal if statement so if not deleted count uh, bigger or, or bigger or equal one then and if I could override the new value that will be uh, saved so new dot slug will be equal to new dot slug and now I will concatenate and this is how you do that in Postgres and you can generate an md5 string which is very nice so md5 random uh, and text and you can do this and at the end you need to return the row that will be used so return new and for like this will run before each update so we need to create an actual trigger so create a trigger I'll call it with the same name or I'll give it the same name before 
update on articles and for each row execute execute row procedure the maintain slug uniqueness so let's go test that i will go inside postgres inside dbeaver which is my favorite tool working with databases i will create my index um, oops i i made a mistake with the column name so this should be fine now let's create the function hopefully uh, the language maybe i wrote it in a wrong way i think this one should be uh, plp gsql Oh, yeah, GSQL, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's take all of that. And at the end, I will put the trigger that actually runs that start procedure each update. So that's my table. Let's go and actually test that. Uh, maybe I could write it just here. So, insert into articles title slug values I'll put my name soft delete oops delete unique oops. Uh, and if you click control shift f or command shift f it will format that so instead this it's fine it will work Let's go to articles. We should see it. Uh, if we try to do it again, we'll see that, hey, you violated the unique constraint, which is nice. Let's actually go and delete that one. Now it's deleted. Let's go and run the query again. It should be saved. Very nice. Um, and this is how the slug looks like. Let's actually insert a bunch of these. Oops, sorry. Let's first delete that. Uh, let's go and share another one and then another one so save and we should have four so i'm gonna order these by id let's actually this first thing let's go and delete all of them now let's say our user decide to undo the delete on the article with id3 so the only thing we need to do is just to put null here so save that works fine um, i need this to be sorted like okay that's the id that's the article with id3 now it's undeleted let's go and also undelete this one save we should see that's the random like string the random md5 string which is nice so let's go also and undelete this one save and let's go and undelete this one and yeah and that's basically it now the user could see this value like they could change it uh, but definitely they should be informed about that like, this is the behavior because this like already exists we are gonna change it and this like maybe opens so many questions like let's say like someone bookmarked that article with this slug and they will open this bookmark now we, they will see a 404 page like there's so many things maybe i mean it depends on your case but definitely you should maybe discuss if this is the best solution but for me this is very nice and i like this is four years ago but i wish i i knew about these kind of like tips and tricks <laughs> uh I think learning a SQL will makes you always a better developer. And yeah, I hope this was useful. And if you want to see these kind of videos about databases, I'm very interested about databases. So just please tell me or do anything. Oh yeah. And uh, 